Good evening everybody. I'm Danielle and I own Danielle Sweet Treats. And as a lot of you also know, I own the Cussing Caker. Okay, so thank you everybody who joined last Thursday night. I absolutely loved how so many of you joined in. It was fabulous and I've actually still got the cakes at um, my side over there. Not very good. So a lot of you was asking about how to make the flamingo meringue pop that I made, or mingos as we called them all night. <laughs> So I'm going to be showing you how to make that tonight using the cake cream. So cake cream is all this stuff that's back here. There is a wide variety of colours and there's multiple flavours as well. They come in multiple sizes and they're just so versatile. Again, let me remind you that I am new still myself to the product, but I absolutely love it. So I'm more than happy to do lives for it. So I have got a bit of a giveaway tonight for a like and share and on the comments is my husband Mark. <laughs> As a lot of you know, Mark likes to have fun. <laughs> Mark likes a drink. Mark does like a drink and Mark is now allowed a drink. Okay. I swear. Yes. So we're not on channel four? We're not on channel four. Okay, so the first giveaway that I'll be doing for the like and share will be a light pink apron in absolutely any design from the website that you like. Second, Mark's what? Oh, what's that? So, light pink apron in any design that you want from the website. I'll be doing two cake creams. So, my favourite, the bubblegum pink, and then it's also the salted caramel that I made the brownies with on Thursday. There will be, let's level this bitch spirit level, because at the end of the day, we all want a straight cake and no better way to figure out. The large pink lollies that have been so popular this weekend. I'm actually quite happy I bought all the lollipops. <laughs> the Cussing Caker pen. And obviously the Cussing Caker sweary stamps that I had Amy Coyle from Sweet Stamp make for me. So you will not get these anywhere else. Amy owns Patton and I had Amy make those for me. So they will not be available anywhere else. But that is the first prize, the main giveaway. But what I'm also going to do, as my record for viewers is 2,400. Okay. Sorry, do So <laughs> after the 500 base viewers, every 500 mark after that, I'll be chucking in a 25 pound voucher for my website. So that's aprons, well, most of the goodies you see except the cake cream. So yeah. Or any of the packs, because a lot of you bought them on Thursday. So thank you very much. I hope you are all enjoying them. So yes, that is the first giveaway. And after 500, every 500 marks, so when we hit 1,000 viewers, there'll be a £25 extra. And then if we get 1,500, there'll be another £25 extra for the website, and so on. So do you see where I'm going with it? <laughs> Let's see how many we can get. Let's put a cap on it, because if there's... If you get hundreds of thousands, you'll be out of pocket. I will not get hundreds of thousands. Who knows? I know full well I won't. Oh, so, I <laughs> I'm feeling very generous today. <laughs> Sonia Williams says you look lovely in black. Why, thank you. It's the same colour as my soul. <laughs> okay. So, these I went up today. I may have dropped the other tray getting it out of the oven. So, Is that a tinny opening, Marquez? Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. Pulled from the other cake. That was the Mingos that we made. So I'm going to show you how to make these meringue flamingos using Emily Coyle's cake cream. If you wish to purchase cake cream, please go to either Sugar Sisters, which is in Ireland, and they're best for supplying England and Ireland, if that makes sense. Or you can go to cakecream.com, which is best for shipping all over the world. Obviously, if you fill your bag full of loads of the cake cream expect the postage to be a bit higher if you want cheaper postage please lower your basket it all goes by weight there's a lot of people so, liking your packs someone oh. just said brownies from pack eight oh yes but honestly cake cream is fantastic as you all saw it's very versatile it makes obviously the swiss meringue buttercream that i used last week the frozen frozen ice blue it's 513 okay so there's the first Come on, Mark, show your face. We've seen her mum. We've seen, seen me yeah, before. Mum tap danced. You've seen me so, before. <laughs> that's the frozen ice blue that I used on the cake on Thursday. 
I then used the salted caramel for the brownies and that was they were delicious they did not survive till morning then obviously cake creams for the meringue pops made cupcakes with them and I'll tell you what them cupcakes were to die for and I'll be perfectly honest I think I prefer it made with cake cream than a normal recipe Don so, Andrew says I'm beautiful for I'm beautiful <laughs> I'm beautiful <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be showing you mainly how to make the flamingo meringues as that's what you all wanted to see so I have baked one ready and I will obviously paint it up but I've also let me shove this down there's one we made earlier it is one I made earlier that's what I made Thursday but then also there was a couple of others I did make another tray of all different bits and I dropped that like an idiot so obviously they're not very good to show different types of meringue pops hearts normal ones you can make them as pumpkins carrots ice creams if you wanted I don't even know what meringue is you do know what meringue is <laughs> I don't know. what I eat with cream and strawberries oh yeah I know that's meringue I don't know what it's for I don't know what it's made of egg white is, sugar. It, is that all it is, is it? yeah fair enough so <laughs> I will be showing you how to make it so yes let's crack on Okay, so first of all, you obviously want scales. Danielle's beautiful, you're handsome, Mark. Well, <laughs> you know. And you'll also want a mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you can do it with a hand mixer. But I'll be perfectly honest, it, it's not the quickest of things to do. So having a big mixer does really help. And I wouldn't even attempt it by hand. I will be perfectly honest with you. This isn't going to okay. go everywhere, is it, like that? Uh, no okay so first let's make the mingos so there is Mark obviously Elliot needs educated cake's still there if you want it mark i've not touched it <laughs> it's not your wedding cake though so i have got the bright pink which i do love for flamingos but they are kind of lighter in color so i'm going to be halving and halving with the colors i do mainly recommend using the colours that are available to you to go from there because if you colour it with gel it can affect the consistency but obviously it's more to how much you mix it in to remove all the air so I'm just going to go with the colours that I've got but kind of mix them together so for every 100 grams you want to add 35 grams of water that makes a very stiff meringue if you want it a bit looser then go for 45 grams of water and that's for every 100 grams of cake cream. Mark Elliott says he's all over that. It looked <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Well, you're more than welcome to it, Mark. I meant that, Mark, not you, Mark. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So I'm adding 100 grams of the pink. And then I'll also bit add... Pink, bit of pink for Dad. I'll also add 100 grams of the Whisper White. You're loving having free reign now, aren't you? Oh, it's just nice to be able to say what you have want. a drink and have a swear. <laughs> well, I am the cousin caker after all. There's a couple of people said that you've done a good job with the kitchen. Thank you, I am really proud of myself. Someone said it looks bigger than it did in picture earlier. Uh, How? No, I don't know. Went to have an extension this afternoon and I've been out, have we? <laughs> I'm not that talented. Hi, Daniela Mark, it's Maisie Bell. Hi, Maisie Bell. Your cakes look absolutely fabulous. Uh, they're fabulous. Your mum showed me, my darling, and I'm very, very proud of you. Oh, is that, that the girl you told me about yesterday? Yeah. The sprinkle cake that you did, I was really, really impressed with that. And because you are so fabulous, and I'm really, really proud of everything you've done, I've actually got you a parcel of goodies on the way. Parcel of goodies, your a way. A parcel of goodies. <laughs> Oklahoma. No, we've got no special codes tonight. Pink makes the boys wink. Is, that, is that a child that you've just... Maisie Bell is a child. She's ten. Is she allowed on this page? Her mum's there. She knows what I'm like. <laughs> so, oh, okay. for every 100 grams of powder for a stiff meringue, 35 grams of water. Thank you so much, says Kerry Clark. Oh, you're very welcome. Zoe Jane Rose says, My daughter has been looking forward to this video. We are going to attempt these for a birthday tomorrow. Her oh. name is Isla. Is that Isla? I S L A? Yeah, Isla. Isla Hi, Isla. 
She loves <laughs> baking, apparently. Oh, fabulous. I do have a lot of children followers, which I'm quite shocked at. Don't even study with that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> BBC did that in the 70s. Mark! <laughs> so what happened there? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. So... Broken. Okay. Already broken. So, I'm just mixing it on slow, just to combine it all together to start with. You've moved the flowers, it looks bigger. What I flowers? don't... It was, the flowers weren't real, it was just an idea that I had. We put... Uh, I photoshopped an image in to see whether I liked it or not. I'm going for a big sign. <laughs> so, you just start on low, just to combine everything. You might need to open it up and push everything down if you've got a big mixer. Kitchen would be a lot bigger if Amazon had not emptied the warehouse. Well, it? it's Jake's birthday, and I got excited. Oh my God, Mark! What about BBC? Remember, they're thirty seconds. Well, you're all thirty seconds behind. Actual me. We well, never know in this day and age, do you? You can't even sing nursery rhymes anymore. No, oh, I know. Okay, so it's all done from the sides. And then you want to put it on high. This will be noisy for the next minute or so. If you can hear me and Mark over it, tell us. But you want to put that on high until it becomes a stiff peak. <laughs> Dilith Price says, Hi Mark, nice to have you back. The lives are not the same without you. And someone's <laughs> just said, Hold on, where is it? Was that the annoying silver bit that flew off the front of your mixer? Does my head in? Yes, it was. It's the magnetic bit. So I'm going to pop this on high. Mark hasn't done the kitchen, you're right. Mark didn't do the kitchen, Danielle did the kitchen. I touched it, it's all Danielle, that. <laughs> but you also want to pop your oven on to 100 degrees. Where? And then your meringue's going for two hours. Where are the tiles from? Amazon. <laughs> if, <laughs> if your meringues crack when you take them out, turn your oven down a smidge. So I've had to actually put mine to 90 degrees. So, yeah. Dawn Hay says, please, will you type up the ingredient weights on your page? Yes, more than fine, but they're also available on the Cake Cream and Sugar Sisters website. And Tom Parker says, I've missed you, buddy. Is that me or you? You, you made friends with him on one of the old guys. So I'm going to pop this on high and turn the oven on. Wow. 
Thanks. We're nearly there. It just needs one or two more minutes. I'm just moving everything to make sure it's in. Okay. We're about the same thing. Probably not. <laughs> That's the disturbing part. Instagram page again. My Instagram page is Danielle Sweet Treats Workshop. She's making meringue, Rachel. I'm just Danielle Sweet Treats on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to put that back on. But you need your non-stick mat, which is oven proof. It's about £7 from Amazon, but you can get them with macaron circles and stuff on, which are really, really helpful, which Emily will be bringing out a lovely recipe. She's tried it about 60 different times to make sure it's perfect. Is that she will not... Emily from Oklahoma? No. no, no. <laughs> this is Emily from Sugar Sisters. Oh, right. She will not release a recipe that is less than perfect. She's really, really tried hard. So thank you for the wait. Just maybe about a week or so longer because she thinks she has cracked it. So the mats with the circles on are perfect for that. I found by trying some myself, the ones with the raised bits around for the macaron mat, is no good. So I'm going to put that back on for another minute just to finish off. Morning from Brisbane. Hi! Rachel, you've got a stiff peak. That is how stiff that peak is. Stiffer than me, that. Fuck! I'm aching. Well, you did have a back massage of Jake. I know, well, exactly. <laughs> Sledgehammer to Ed. Where'd you get piping bags from? Amazon. So, it? yes, Amazon. A 200 pack was about £11. They are 21 inch, but you can always cut them down if you need, which I do most of the time anyway. Hi from Burnley. Hello, Burnley. Hi. Okay, so I'm just going to move that to the side because I'm going to use that in a minute to make purple. So there it is, a stiff peaks. Yummy. What sort of straws are you using? So I'm using paper straws. Oh, all right, because McDonald's. The I'm rubbish. not making you drink with them. I know, but they are rubbish I'm paper not straws. Plastic aren't they? in the oven. I'm not that idiot. Let's put paper in water and drink from it. What a brilliant idea. Okay, so you need two nozzles to make the flamingos. You need a round nozzle. If you don't have a nozzle, it's fine. Just cut the end off of a piping bag. Your mum says, such a talented girl. Oh, thank you, I mother. always knew she had faith in me. <laughs> you, talented girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, My. I'm using a large round nozzle, okay. and that's for the head and neck. I do apologise, it will look like a phallus. A what? <laughs> I don't want to say the proper words. In the words of the watching. Virgin Mary, come again. <laughs> it does look strange until you've finished it all off. Mark, we don't need to know about your stiffness. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Nadine Morgan. Brilliant. And then your mum has said, Mark's stiff. A up from Rotherham. Hi. Oh my, Rotherham. <laughs> Dunnos. Dunnos. Okay. And then I'm using a Wilton 1M for the twill. So I'm going to just pop that to the side because I'll use that again in a minute to make purple. Okay, purple so yogurt you want your straws to start with, just do a blob. A bit of blob. Okay, and then using the round nozzle bag or chopped off end, let me just. Hello from Olaf Ooh, where's that? Where's Olaf 
I know where Wolverhampton is, dive. Behave! No, right, so I'm going to make the head slash neck at this point. Hello, Karina. So, slowly and steady. I hope my duck's from Stoke. You want yes. to make a sort of a hook, if that makes sense. Captain Hook. Not Captain Hook. Jesus Christ. And again, nice and slow. And if you also have a lot of air bubbles in, smack your piping bag. I know it sounds strange, spanking a piping bag. Smack the bitch up. It disperses the large bubbles. <laughs> okay, so again, kind of candy cane. Yeah, let's do another one. Again. Hi from Sunny Rill, Dawn Pritchard. Oh, she's over. regular for you. Hi Dawn. I'm sure she's regular. Uh, yes. Slow and steady, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can tell you've all missed me on my own pages. Let the straw penetrate the meringue. You dirty sods. Right, I'm behaving for a little bit, there's children watching. <laughs> so using the 1M, start from the middle. Here's a good question for you though. One second. Don't. Daniel, and are you round. still going to be doing a live every week on your own page? Yes, I um, am. Are you near Cresswell? You used to go there on holiday. You went to Cresswell on holiday? Yes, we're workshop based. What's at Cresswell to go on holiday for? There's a petrol station. So in that the is shop. it, basically. So then, if you've got another piping bag or a reusable, you want one with a small nozzle, or you can. Let me get it in. Or you can just snip the end off of a piping bag before you s and then you can save it for a bigger one if you need to for a bigger nozzle reuse what's, it what's the best nozzles to buy i really like wilton i will be honest i like wilton nozzles you only need about a teaspoon in here what is the other mat called again dave um they're just non-stick mats that's safe for the oven so then you want to pipe a little beak on with this one just a little nozzle little round one or snip the end off what size are the straws and where did you get them? I just got them off Amazon. If you can tell, I love Amazon. If you could see uh, behind me, you would tell that she loves Amazon. I'm a bit bad with Amazon. Nadine Morgan can't get it in. Well. <laughs> okay. Oh, she so, came to Cresswell to see her friend's family. Oh, fair enough. So that's those. And then they go in the oven for two hours on 35 degrees. Not 35 degrees. On... 100 degrees if the first lot come out and they're a bit cracked pop them in at a lower so about 90 degrees if it cracks it's because your oven is too hot it helps to have an oven thermometer so i got mine from amazon again for about two quid you did i love amazon i oh, fancy that oh you'd never know so i'm just gonna scrape the rest into a different bowl why so i can make a different color oh, i don't can we see the beaks? Um, I will show you on one that's already made. It's literally, you push a little blob on and then pull away. On what length? I'm assuming that's referring to straws. So that is one unpainted. You can add sprinkles to them before they go in the oven as well as I have. So what I'm going to use to paint the beak... It's like a doggy's lipstick. Oh my god. It does, it does look phallus-like. So... Oh dear, splattering water everywhere. Everyone loves your tiles, they're not bothered about your meringue, but the tiles. <laughs> Screw everything else, just my kitchen's pretty. Okay, so I'm using Sweet Sticks Edible Art Paint. So it's pre-made paint. It's come all the way from Australia, from the lovely Miranda. Miranga? Miranda. Oh, I thought, I thought you said Miranga. Not... That'd be brilliant, that. If you no, paint a meringue with Miranga's not Miranga. paint. <laughs> Are you paid to advertise Amazon? No, I just love it. I'm like it. Okay, so you just paint the beak in black and then you add the eye. I ordered what I thought was an oven thermometer and it come and was a fridge one. Also good to have. Well, what's different? One goes in the fridge and one can't yeah, but go thermometer's in. a thermometer, isn't it? Yeah, but the plastic fridge ones can't go in the oven. Oh, is that like forks and microwaves, is it? Yeah. Alright. Won't the paper straws catch fire in the oven? No, it's on too low. What length are the straws? They're just normal 
drinking straws that are normal paper ones. So normal length. Well, I actually better. got these ones from Tesco, plain <laughs> white ones. Did it tell you what size they are, though? No. Straws and pack, 100% Should we say percent. a solid six inch? Jeez, are you really going to make me measure a straw? I don't know. I'm measuring a straw. I never this thought I'd do second this. second time she's asked about this. It's Don Don so, Andrew. Second they're eight time inches, she's asked about like They're eight inches it. long, my darling. Or 20 centimetres, as you do. But they are normal drinking straws, but they are, they are paper ones. Are those my feet? Your feet? Kristen Keo? Keo? Are those my feet? I don't know. Okay. It'd be pretty weird if your feet were in our kitchen. <laughs> so, again, with a nice thin brush and the edible paint, I'm going to draw the little flappy eye. Oh, this has just turned into innuendo now. I'm too young for this. Everyone loves a solid six inch. Sake. Show your face, Mark. <laughs> no. So that's the Mingos. That's literally how easy they are. You can add edible gold leaf on there like I did with the other ones. And I did that before I baked. Ah, so it was stuck on what? It's a Father Ted quote. I don't watch Father Ted. Yeah, I've got <laughs> I'm special. I've got a life. Um, how long will they last, please? I'm assuming that. Um, to be perfectly honest, I have no idea. But same as normal meringues, I'm presuming, because once it's all cooked, it's just sugar, really. So I'm presuming a good couple of weeks in an airtight container. Mark for blue hair when you beat your viewers' record. Well, we're nowhere near it, so my hair stays so... <laughs> How many are you on? 692. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to show you a heart. Can you use food colouring to paint the eye? Yes, if you wanted to. Okay. I brought them straws from Tesco and forgot they were paper and stuck them inside a cake to stop it moving. Oh! Oh! Oh dear! Okay, so there's a couple of things you can do here for a heart. You can either get a cutter or anything you have in the shape of a heart and draw around it with a pencil. The reason I say pencil is because they're made of graphite and you're okay to actually eat a small amount of that so you're alright if it transfers to your meringue. Really? Mm -hmm. So you can just go around eating pencils. It's not recommended to just eat pencils as they are, but if you eat a bit of food that's got pencil written on it, then you're fine. That's fucking stupid. Okay. How many flamingos do you reckon one bag of cake cream would do? Oh, a lot. Because I made 200 grams then. I've got a bag full here. There's a bowl full there. I've done three and just put them in the oven. So you probably get about six for every 200 grams. Okay, so for the heart... Um, with your 1M, oh dear, I can't do this from an angle, Jesus Christ, I didn't oh, think this through. Oh, for God's sake. Shut up! I didn't think this through. <laughs> so, push on, and up, and back down. Okay? Do you put the sprinkles on before or after you put them in the oven? Before? you would burn yourself, otherwise. No, because you put it on before it goes in the oven, so I'm using Sweet Stab Pixie Pearls. Could you draw on the other side and flip over? You could do if you wanted, yeah. Obviously, it's a bit hard if you're doing it onto Ooh. the mat. So draw in something dark and then put the mat over the picture. So there's that. And what you can also do with the pump glitters, so this specific one's from Sainsbury's. I know you can get from Tesco or you can get them from Kate's Players. Give it a little bit of sparkle before it goes in the oven and it survives brilliantly. Yeah, you alright, darling? I don't know if I can ask for that. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that one. Okie doke. So, Vicky, um, everyone. Well, it's a hard one to say, my darling. So, they're advertised as different products, but they are essentially the same from the base, same products. They both make Swiss meringue buttercream, they both make meringue, macarons, cakes. So it's up to you really, but I use Emily's as she's been out for over a year and I support originals. Oh shit, I just broke it. So Emily was actually at Cake International last year, which I know a lot of you tasted it then. So when I first ever tasted it last 
September, October, before Emily brought it out, I tasted it straight from the fridge and I thought it was a strange texture, like really creamy ice cream, if that makes sense. But when it's not been in the fridge, I absolutely love it. So for all of you that know I don't actually like buttercream, so when I have a cake, I'll scrape it off, I'd be happy to eat this. It's not as sweet as buttercream. I do love using buttercream, but I love this. Okay, doke, so that's our heart. Right, you could make yourself useful and hang that washing out that's in your washing machine. <laughs> We've got do. a dryer I'm over there. I'm going to chicken dryer like when I can get to it. <laughs> as soon as Jake's had his birthday. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to put another one there. And I'm going to show you how to make an ice cream. So, just to start with, a couple of blobs along. Oh, sorry, Michelle. I didn't, someone's already answered that question, though. What did they say? The, Michelle, what? I've already answered this when you had already asked. Oh, no, that's fine then. Okay. So I must have missed that, sorry. No, it's fair enough. Fair enough. But Vicky says, thanks for the answer. I appreciate your honesty. No problem. I'll probably get in trouble for it, but hey how? Oh, fuck them. Right. So as it was stiff, I'm going to colour it with a gel. It will affect it a little bit, essentially. So once I've done this, I will put it straight in the ma in the oven. Where are the sprinkles from? Um, the pixie pearls I got from Sweet Stamp. So just giving that a little mix. Little mix. Little mix. Yeah. Okay. You've just got to be very, very <laughs> careful when mixing it, not to knock out all the air. So folding that colour in. You two are so funny. I'm not even drunk yet. <laughs> Put them away before I trip over. Jesus Christ, he's not even watching, is it? <laughs> I don't know. No, don't be sorry, Mark. Oh, all right, Michelle. I won't be. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can paint these with edible paint after if you wanted to. What? And it would probably be better, so then it's not messing with the... That's extra vinyl for if I messed anything up. Get off it. Is it sticky back, is it? Yes, stop playing with things. I'm not playing with fuck all. You've got my vinyl off my shelf! I'll tell you what. There. You You'll not be having a happy birthday at this rate. I'm going to work for it anyway. Fine. That's what I love about you, you feisty. What? I'll punch you if you come near me. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Spit on me. That's <laughs> disgusting. Um, get drunk, Mark. Give us a laugh. What are you drinking? Right. Joe Quartez, which I've seen her before. It's JJ Whitley's uh, Russian vodka with some Monster, Pink Monster Punch, and then I've got a Monster Munch. <laughs> monster. And then I've got a, one of them litre bottles of Budweiser. Why not? So this knife shouldn't be too long, to be perfectly honest. Might be in a bit. Right. So I'm going to put this in because I don't want to beat any more air out of it. I want to. I will just colour that afterwards with some edible paint or I'll go over it with an airbrush. Can you add gin to these? What? Vodka? Um, I probably wouldn't. You could substitute the flavour for some... Not the flavour, you could substitute some of the moisture, like the water what you had for something I'm presuming. Watch it from Chicago. The okay, Windy so City. this is a petal tip, but it's just going to be pretty, so going along Sonia Talbot says ong omg first time to watch yous are absolutely hilarious oh brilliant so basically an ice cream so I'm going to add some sprinkles to that <laughs> my you're so funny you'll be falling over after all that drink remember that that other one oh way? jesus he actually did fall off his chair <laughs> I fell off his chair then you had to get me up off the bathroom floor and that was just a normal night off yeah so sprinkles what you can also do if you've got some left you can color it red and do a little circle for a cherry so ice creams have you ever thought of doing private lessons i need someone to teach me to fondant to cake vicky ryan um, I've done a few in the past, but personally I'd rather just stick to doing these at the minute because while the kid is young it's a bit hard for me to get everywhere in childcare. So with the remaining of this I'm going to show you either what? flowers or starfish. 
Chocolate four. ones? No. Star <laughs> Starfish for if you've got a sea themed cake or mermaid. So, star tip, squeeze and pull. Oh, here's a good one. Sarah Sims, I'm watching this while waiting for my fifth granddaughter to be born. <gasps> so exciting is she due tonight or today or whenever that'd be interesting so just five legs <laughs> there's a lot of laughing faces about starfishes shut up and with the remaining i'm just going to make some kisses i've not got many icing bags left i kind of screwed up it's all right i'm sure amazon will be around in a bit I ordered them to come today and they haven't, so they should be here tomorrow. So funny, my husband is listening and laughing at you. <laughs> so I'm going to put that in again, two hours on about 100 degrees. If they crack on your first batch, turn it down a smidge. Oh, the granddaughter was due yesterday. Oh. Typical, typical lady, fashionably late. It's right, isn't it? Yes, okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I mix colours. So I'm going to make a purple. It's like a really good paint machine. Can you get like a coding machine, paint coding machine? Like a colour coding machine? You know, you, do you know what I'm on about? What you know, like when you go to B&Q and you, you ask them to make a certain colour of paint? Yeah. Can you get something like that for these different colours? No. No, they No, that's a genuine question. You're looking at me gone out here, but... They come in white or different colours? Who comes colours? in white? The cake cream. Alright. Right, so... Let's show you colours before we crack on. So, long way. story short, no, you can't get a machine that does that. No. Okay. Interesting so, consumer cake advice. cream, white. So, there's 200 gram bags, 400 gram bags, which I recommend, or the large bags, which are two kilograms, but you save more money overall if you buy the bigger bags. So, I prefer the Whisper White because I can use it for everything for baking, um, to make all the meringues. I can colour it myself. Debbie Taylor's having volume problems. Turn it up. Okay. Um, there's black, which I used on a cake this weekend, and it was fabulous. It does look a bit brown at first, but don't worry, when you put the water in, it turns black. She there's... ran something to invent there. It is, it's something that needs doing. There's navy blue. These are only the colours that I have here. There is frozen ice, which I used on the cake on Thursday. There's Pool Party, which is like a very light blue turquoise. Two questions. There's Red, which obviously Red Velvet Cake it works fabulous for. There is a recipe for that on the Cake Cream website and on the Sugar Sisters website. Can you mix and two together together great. and get a different colour? Yes, that's what I did for the pink, for the light pink. I used the bright bubblegum pink and I used the white. So that's the bubblegum pink that we've been using. I've been mixing that with the Whisper White. And I'll be adding frozen ice to try and make a purple. So then there's also a couple of flavours that I've got here. These are all white in colour. So there's the lemon. There's the salted caramel, which I made the salted caramel brownies with and they were to die for. Or there is raspberry. So if I'd have got this earlier in the post, I'd have made the cupcakes with this on Thursday. But there is a wide selection. Lewis Bird, that's my... That's well, that I used to hang about with, isn't it? Lewis Bird? Uh, yes, probably, yeah. Skateboarder. Yes. All right, Lou. Hello. Oh, shake. <laughs> okay, so how I'm going to make. Gonna how much did they range from? So sorry, sorry do Um, I'll be perfectly honest. I am not 100 percent sure on price. I literally go giddy on the website and be like, ah! and add everything, and then I end up with loads of boxes. Does sorry. the Swiss meringue buttercream last just the same as normal sugar cream? Um, so the shelf life on these is six months. So it once on a cake, it lasts the same. Yes, if that's what you mean. But you can bake with it, make meringues. Um, macarons, macaroons. I love the way you say raspberry. Well, how raspberry. Many, how many other ways is there to say it? I don't know. <laughs> That's a strange one. I really wish they do a yellow colour cake cream. Um, I believe she's in the process of sorting that out now. Emily, Emily should Cole be has just yeah. answered that. Should be out very soon. She's just in the middle of sorting. Debbie Taylor, help! I have no volume. She got, she's not going to be able to hear what I'm saying though. No. Um, turn it up. If you turn the volume all the way down, subtitles will come on. That's if it, it can pick it up past my strange face. Look, she can't hear you. She's got no volume. But if she's already got the thing on, or someone might say it. 
Right, so I'm going to add oh, it's Peter. 50 grams of the blue. Where can you order it from? Bit of blue, bit of blue for dads. Behave! Okay, so please remember it's a like and share. So there was the big bundle, which was for the first 500 people that watched. And for every 500 after that, I was chucking in a £25 voucher for an extra price. Um, please remember, with the like and share, a new thing, every single share you do, it enters you in multiple times. So before, it just used to be, just enter you once. Have you got a glittery boob? <laughs> That's a genuine, I probably do have a, genuine a glittery boob. question. And Peter Blood loves my posh voice. Didn't you go to school with Peter Blood? He's yeah, below me. Nice guy. Well, okay. He is a nice guy. He's all right, Peter. Okay, so I'm adding some pink. Can you add colour gel to a colour? You can, but I'd add it in now, whilst it whips up, if that makes sense. And Sonia Talbot, hi, I've tried to use cake cream a few times. Each time it curdles when I add butter. Okay, you keep going, my darling. So, there's a few things here. You just keep mixing. I know it curdles up at first, and I know it looks scary. It literally petrified me the other day, because it started doing it while I was live. But you just keep going. Or you can wrap a warm tea towel around the base of your bowl and that will warm it up a bit. If it goes too sloppy, then you can pop it in the fridge and cool it a little bit. But it does come together. If you have any, any problems, you can always message Emily and she is in the comments here. And she is fabulous and will always help or any of the girls will. There's a couple of people wanting to know what this cake cream actually is. Here. So cake cream, it's a Swiss meringue buttercream mix. Have you ever tried making it from scratch where you've got to literally melt the sugar and pour it in the stupidly slow? It is evil to make, but it is delicious. I think your friend Emily's like helping people out. Here. She will do. She did say she was watching. Um, so it's basically you add butter and water and boom, you're done. It's really, really easy. It does scare the life out of you when you're making it, but it is so worth it. It's so smooth when you're piping or when you're going round. For the, for example, once I've covered a cake in buttercream, I hot pile it over it, so dip it in hot water and then go around the cake to remove any air bubbles or imperfections. I did not have to the other day with this. So I'll show you the cake in just a second while this is mixing. And I literally put that on, stuck it on a board and cracked on. That is it. It's so easy to smooth out. So a lot I know a lot of people have troubles with it when with buttercream when they're making it. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and do things and it's not working at the same time. <laughs> I'm not that bright. So get out. Shut up! <sighs> you will need your safe words. Oh, the helmet. What tonight? No. No, you dirty sod. Oh, right. In a minute when I throw my rolling pin at you. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, Where can I buy yeah. cake cream? Please? Okay, so cake cream, you can get it from Sugar Sisters, which is based in Ireland. It may take a day extra for shipping compared to in the UK, but it's a day. Um, they are best shipping for England and Ireland. If you, are, if you are in any of the other countries, because I know a lot of you are from America and things that watch me, then I recommend going to cakecream.com and they are better for shipping worldwide. Prestige worldwide. <laughs> Step brothers, shall we watch it later? Yeah, okay, so remember, for a stiff meringue, 35 grams of water to every 100 grams of the cake cream. Yes, Megan, the tiles are stickers. <laughs> Mother stickers. <laughs> for more loose meringue, so perfect for kisses or anything, then 45 grams of water. The recipe on the back of the packs is 45 grams, but I, me and Emily decided to use 35 grams for a stiffer meringue, which is great for when you're doing Here's your pops and shapes. Here's a question Why are you using so many different packets in one bowl? Because I'm making a different colour. Making a different colour, Kay. That, that's, that's what it is. Jeanette Vipond or Vipond yep. missed Mark and she loved it. I believe she said this the other day that she missed you. Megan, yes, I believe the stickers are from Amazon. Yes, Amazon. Would you recommend cake cream for a humid climate? For a what? Humid climate. Um, it's quite warm. Well, it's been quite warm here. I know what humid climate is. All right, I'm just trying to help you out. It's been quite warm here, my dear. So, yeah, I'd say it's all right. It stands up. And you can also cover it. So, chill it in the fridge and then you can cover it with sugar paste. Can you give those measurements in spoons? I d it's very precise, so I'd use scales, preferably. Does the water have to be up to cold? 
just room temperature. Mm. Some of the recipes, for example, the cake and the brownies, it's a little bit warm like a baby's bottle. But for this, just room temperature. So I've just used it from a pre-boiled kettle that's cooled all day. So I'm slow again, just to mix it all in. Louise Williams has made a Christmas cake today. Fab. Can't beat being early, can you? Give them a chance to mature. Okay. So. Do you not want me to say no? Say no to what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Watching from St Lucia. Ooh, hello. Is that the one where the runway to airports right on beach? Uh, I believe so. Or is that St Martin? She might be able to answer that. <laughs> Help with these ideas. Okay, so now it's all mixed in. Again, a few minutes on high. I apologise for it being loud. If you can't hear me, I do apologise. But if you can hear me, you're up. So again, you want to mix until on high until you get 50. So that's about four or five minutes. Nearly yeah. done, hey. bloody girl. Where right, did so, you buy the large lollipops from? So I actually bought them from a big supplier, um, but they are all available on my website, which is www.daniellesweettreats.co.uk. That's also where you can buy customised aprons, the swear word stamps, which will be, there'll be a few available back in stock next week. Um, the spirit levels, there's lots of large lollies on there, and also my cake packs. So I'm going to put that on and talk about it at the same time. Is it getting stiff yet? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so on my website there is nine packs in total. So you can buy them all individually or you can buy them as bundles. So pack one is loads of information, disclaimers. No, alright. Where can I find recipes from the other night 
Tonight's live, the raspberry cupcakes, and then explain your okay. packs again. All right, so I will pop up the recipes again later on. I don't know if it loaded up or not when I did it yes last night. Um, so this is all stiff, so I can move that off. How do I access your website? Okay, so... Internet. <laughs> you sarcastic suck. So my website is www.daniellesweettreats.co.uk oh. um, There you will find all nine of my packs, which I know a lot of you bought last week. Not last week, last Thursday. So there is nine packs in total. You can buy them individually except one, or you can buy them um, as bundles, which saves quite a bit of money. So pack one is loads and loads of information, supplier lists, um, what best things do for... So with gold, for example, the type of gold you want, whether to airbrush it, to paint it, to use gold leaf, it shows you, it explains the different effects and what's good for what. There's supplier lists, there's disclaimers, and there's 11 cake recipes in there. Pack two is 31 cake recipes, all in there, shebang all of it. Pack three is kind of a self-help so if cakes are going wrong for you or bakes are going wrong or you've got trouble with customers, you want a bit of help with something, there's a lot of things in there and there's a little bit of help on the end of how to do sugar flowers so roses, lilies, just a little bit. Pack four is every single one of those 31 cake recipes specified in sizes 4 inch to 16 inch cakes so it saves you calculating that and upping it and down in it. Pack five and six is a cleaning and pricing pack. So it's good for finding out exactly how much your cake's costing to make. So then you can make a decision on what profit you want to earn from that. And then obviously the cleaning pack's fabulous for environmental health. Pack seven is cookie recipes. So there's cookie recipes to decorate with, the no spread cookies, or there's nice chewy recipes. So a popular one is the Biscoff or peanut butter, Oreo, there's loads. Pack eight is sweet treats, so brownies, cheesecakes, blondies, that truffles. And then pack nine is for allergies, so there's vegan, dairy free, nut free, Lucy's crying, <laughs> you need to go to his daughter. <laughs> but they're all available on the website, and a lot of you did purchase them on Thursday, so thank you, I really do appreciate that. Okay, so back to this. I'm going to draw around a five inch drum with a bit of pencil. Remember, pencil is absolutely fine because pencil is absolutely actually made from graphite and you're allowed to consume that in small amounts. So, there we go. Using 50 grams of the pink and 50 grams of the blue and 100 grams of the white, we've got a lovely lilac colour. So, piping bags. So what I'm going to do here is show you, if you can't get hold of a large lollipop for a drippy cake for example, make one with the creams. It doesn't obviously have to be a lollipop, but as long as it looks the part on the cake, you're all good. So obviously you can make loads of different colours, put them together in the piping bag so it is multicoloured, but I'm just going to use purple at this point and crack on with that because I don't want to waste all of my colours. So, stiff peaks again. I'm sorry it takes so long. In we go. Remember, any questions I don't get to answer at this point, because Mark's popped upstairs, or anything that he's missed at any point, I will go over and answer myself tonight or tomorrow. So the website for mine is www.daniellesweettreats.co.uk For the cake cream, it's either cakecream.com or sugar sisters. Okay. So there we go, in one nice piping bag. So, blob to start, just to stick your straw in. Hello my darling. Hello. And then just slowly, not forcing it out the bag, just letting it, with a small bit of pressure, just going round and round. If you add too much pressure, it will just flop out. 
just like that. I might have nice missed quite a lot of questions. Probably, though. I did say I'd go over them. So I'm going to add some little silver balls, jiggies, jiggies, whatever the hell you want to call them. What? Balls. And add some little pink hearts, and I can get in the bag. I was going to show you absolutely loads of things, but then I figured out I had like five piping bags left. You got them straws from Tesco, didn't you? Uh, the white ones, yes, but the silver and gold ones I just got off Amazon. They're just basic paper straws. Piping bags from Amazon. Piping bags from Amazon. So if you don't manage to get a lollipop in time for a cake order for a drippy cake, just make one out of the creams. It's really, really easy and really versatile. And I'm also going to spray this one with... Sugar Flare Extreme Gold Gold Pump, just to add a little bit of shine. Are the piping bags already cut where the piping tip goes in? No, so you have to cut them yourself. Okay, so another one, another blob, and on this one, let's see if you can see it from here, nope, so you go up, down. It's probably going wrong from my point of view. Yep, it has. That's gone totally wrong. Let's just do a little one there. Or you can just blob and drag and criss cross crisscross over. So a bit like a plat, plate, plat, whatever you want to call it. When the two hours is up, do you leave them in the oven or how do you store them? No, nope, just take them straight out and let them cool. And then I pop them in a airtight container. What nozzle did you use? So that was a 1M. So it's basically just simple little pretty pops. It is really easy. Your imagination is endless. So there was one that I really wanted to do tonight, but I kind of forgot I didn't have enough piping bags, which was a rainbow. So three of the different colours, and then made a heart with white with the 1M nozzle to make the clouds. And it looked really, really pretty. And if you've got a stick in that, that'd be great as a rainbow on, on the top of a cake. It's really pretty. You can eat it. And it will take less time to dry than flower paste making a rainbow yourself. So win-win situation. So I'm going to pop these in. Once I've given that a brush. What's that? As an operator of a so-called college, you should set an example to your learners and not be so rude. Is that someone answering someone else? I think it is. Why? Who operates a college? Oh, no. No, it's someone... No, it's someone's replying to someone else. Okay. Earlier someone put a stupid comment up about I'm more interested in what you're doing right now. I think when you were talking about your bikes. Yeah. There's been a couple of people stupid. Ah, I don't care. If you don't like it, don't watch. Yeah, they're getting some fucked off. <laughs> so I'm turning this one gold by spraying it with the pump. I know it's shining in the air. There's a few people having the phones freeze here, so I don't know whether... Right, so it's probably Wi-Fi. But we are at the end, so how many of... Did we reach 1,000 at any point? So I've turned that on no, gold and I'm going to pop it in the oven. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so that is that. Someone's watching me from Ghana as well. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is done. I can look Francis Tete. So we got past the 500, so we'll have the extra £25 voucher. That's fine. But the main giveaway was this so please remember it's a like and share giveaway i will draw this tomorrow say 8 30. um the more you share it to groups or to pages or on your wall the more you share it the more times you will be entered in because it shows multiples now so the main giveaway the first prize is the bubblegum pink and some of the salted caramel so if you watched me last thursday this is what i used to make the salted caramel brownies it was to die for the large baby pink lollipop, the cussing cake a pen, so I got a cheap quote, isn't a fucking promo code, sorry if you're any of my customers watching, <laughs> the spirit level, let's level this bitch, so that's obviously used for when you're stacking cakes, so make sure your cakes are level because there's nothing worse than a wonky cake, there's my swear word stamps which you won't get anywhere else as the letter stamps that are food safe are patent owned by Amy at Sweet Stamps 
and she made me these specially. What do we like and share? This video? The video, the live. And then there's a pink apron, which can be made in any design from the website that you like. So that will be picked at random tomorrow. So I will load it all up, scroll and stop on someone random. And that will be posted out to you once you've chosen your design for the apron. And then I will also do another one after that um, for a £25 voucher giveaway for my website. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I know it is a little one and it's a bit different and it, I am new to this product myself so not everything's perfect. But this was for the, this is all based on the cake cream product itself. It's been out for nearly a year. She was the first to make this. So Emily, I'm really, really proud of you. It's a fab product. If you know me, I don't actually like ganache or buttercream to eat. There's only specific ones I will eat, but I am happy to have this off of a cake. Whereas if you pass me a normal cake with normal buttercream, I'll scrape that off. But I actually really like this to eat. You can cover it with sugar paste once it's set in the fridge or leave it as a buttercream cake. Hold on. When's the next live? Um, I've not quite decided yet. So this is what I made on the Thursday. It's a bit crumbled up this side. I know. So this is what I made Thursday. It's been on my side and it's been battered. Mark yeah, Kelly. Mark Kelly, it is what you could have won. <laughs> you can still have it if you want it. So I know the meringues are a bit dead now, but as you can see, it covers perfectly the Swiss meringue buttercream. But it can be used for baking, for the meringue, for kisses, for macarons, macaroons. Can we see the cake before you log off? Uh, this is a cake, but the meringue, not, the meringue pops will not be done. They take two hours in the oven. So when they are done, I will show them pull this back out it is a bit cracked now but that is what really the live was based on because a lot of you wanted me to show you how to make that on thursday so yes mingos just join <laughs> the page tonight loving this well i do apologize if and i've killed the mingo i've decapitated and it's fucked i've killed apologize. it sorry mark if, uh, <laughs> if, uh, any of this has offended you, you know. so yes i've shown you how to make the heart so do i order the cake pops. cream comp from the cake cream company no you uh, so sugar sisters, isn't cake it? cream is made by emily who owns the sugar sisters you can buy it from sugar sisters who are a cake supply shop so you can get boards boxes colors drippies ribbons you name it everything from there but if you want cake cream just on its own and you are international so america or anywhere then cakecream.com is your best option but honestly it is a fabulous product You've seen how easy it is to use when I'm a newbie with meringues. I've never made meringues. I didn't even the, know what it were. The past week, I've always bought them. I've cheated. But now seeing how easy it is to make, and I love my flamingos. I am obsessed with mingos. So, really, it is super easy to use. And the girls are so fabulous as well. So, if you need anything or you're having any trouble, a good then question, pop them though. a message. Emily, yep. Emily could probably answer this one better. Once the bag's open, how long will it last? Well, it has a six month shelf life. So, it's got the zippy seal, which you can press to seal it, but the bags have six month shelf life. On the back of the pack is obviously a best before date. Um, it's not a use by, it's a best before. So, if it's a week or so after, you can still actually use it. Preferably not for customers, I will be perfectly honest, but best before is just an advance, an advice guideline. Use by is a definite. So yes, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you. I love mingos. So yeah, I hope to see you all soon and I will come on tomorrow at 8.30 to do the draw. Mark, are you going to press the oh, off button? I've done this every fucking time, don't I? <laughs> yes, you did, my darling. Bye can't guys. Even, can't even see the bloody button, don't there's a picture of a woman there. Come here. No. Oh, finish. It's there on bottom. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs>